So we're going to do solving quadratic equations involving fractions. And the example we have here is 2 over x minus 1 minus 1 over x plus 2 is equal to a half. Now whenever you have equations with fractions, you want to be thinking about the lowest common multiple. Now, if I have a simple, even just, um, if I have, let's say, 1 over x plus 1 over 2 is equal to 3, and I want to solve this equation. Now, I'll, I'll be getting rid of this in a second. I just want to, just to, to explain, just with fractions, what we do. You look at everything under the line. We have an x and a 2. We don't know what x is, so we don't know if 2 is a factor of x. The lowest common multiple for this one here, in this case, is you just multiply 2 by x. That's our lowest common multiple for this case. Multiply everything that's under the line by each other. So in this case, you'd have, I'm going to do that in blue, so if I have 1 over x plus 1 over 2 is equal to 3, I'm going to multiply everything by the 2 brackets x. 2 Now, what we get here then is when you multiply everything across by 2, by the lowest common multiple, what you'll find is that we'll be able to cancel the fractions here and here, and we're left with a way better equation, which would be 2 plus x is equal to 6x. In this case, bring all the x's over to one side, minus x there, minus x there, and we'd have 2 is equal to 5x, divide both sides by 5, and we have x is equal to 2 over 5. Now that's just a simple example with when you have a simple equation with fractions. What we're doing now though is going to use a very similar method. I'll just get rid of that because we don't really need that. But we're, we're going to be thinking the same thing though. What is the lowest common multiple? The lowest common multiple. Now, if you look at everything under the line and multiply them. So I have x minus 1 times x plus 2 times 2. If we multiply everything across by this, what will happen is the fractions will cancel and we'll be left with a simpler problem. So I'll do that now. So I have, all right, in blue I'll put in the question that we have. We have 2 over x minus 1. Minus 1 over x plus 2 put brackets around them, it makes it look a little bit clear, is equal to 1 over 2. Now, I have to multiply everything across by this lowest common multiple. In fact, if I write this again, I'll have a little bit more space. It's minus 1. I'm going to put this one in red, what I'm multiplying by. x minus 1, so x plus 2 times 2 minus 1 over x plus 2. Again, multiply by all the, the lowest common multiple. Plus 2 times 2. And then this is equal to 1 over 2 multiplied by the same thing again. x minus 1 is x plus 2 times 2. This is still equals because we've multiplied everything, we've multiplied both sides of the equation by the, same, by the same thing. So what we can do now is we can cancel some things out. If I cancel this x minus 1 with this x minus 1, that gets rid of that fraction. I'll do it in green so it's not confusing. In the next fraction we've got an x plus 2 there. That divides evenly into that x plus 2 once, so that gets rid of that. This 2 here divides evenly into that 2 there, so we got rid of that as well. The next line then is 2 by 2 is 4 times x plus 2. Minus 2 by 1 is minus 2 times x minus 1 is equal to x minus 1 times x plus 2. 
Now, this is very close to being done. If you get to this step here, you really are most of the way through this question. Now it's just a matter of multiplying out absolutely everything, bringing everything over to one side so that it looks like the normal quadratic equations that we saw in the previous questions. So this one here goes to 4x plus 8 minus 2x minus 2 by minus 1 is plus 2 is equal to x times x plus 2 minus 1 times x plus 2. We have 4x minus 2x on this side, which is 2x. 8 plus 2 is plus 10, is equal to x squared plus 2x minus x minus 2. So I'm going to subtract 2x and subtract 10 from both sides. What that will do is just leave us with 0 on this side. Now we've got x squared. How many x's have we got? Well, plus 2x minus 2x is 0. Minus x is just minus x. Minus 2 minus 10 is minus 12. And this should look familiar. These are the questions that we were doing. So it takes a good bit of work down to get down to this, this, this line here. But once we're here, it's just as we were doing before. 0, we can factorise it. If you can't find the factors, you can, of course, just use your the minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac formula. But this one has nice ones. The minus sign here tells me that these signs are going to be different. One is going to be plus, one is going to be minus. Two factors of 12 that will subtract to give minus 1 would be minus 4 and plus 3. So, x plus 3 is equal to 0. In which case we take 3 from both sides and we get x is equal to minus 3. Or x minus 4 is equal to 0. In which case we add 4 to both sides and we get x is equal to plus 4. And that's the final answer.